Oh, hey, I didn't see there. I was just nurturing the e-commerce tree of life. The e-commerce tree of life is one of the core concepts that we use to plan how to build a sustainable, scalable store. I can't tell you how many e-commerce entrepreneurs I've met over the years who feel like they need to do everything all at once. They wanna be perfect at TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and they end up spreading themselves really thin. We need to take a deep breath, take a step back, and master four key principles before introducing multiple sales channels. At the heart of it, you need to validate product market fit. This means that you have the right offer that you're presenting to the right market with the right positioning. Once that clicks, you need to start focusing on the foundations of your e-commerce store. This means optimizing your online store to convert and you need to be thinking about the user experience and you need to be thinking about automations. This includes email automations and email marketing. And the fourth core pillar of the e-commerce tree of life is mastering your first acquisition channel. You need one predictable traffic source that predictably leads to sales before bringing on five or six or seven more that you kind of do okay. So mastering one predictable channel and getting that right builds a very strong trunk of this tree. From there, you could feel a lot more confident introducing additional channels. So if your first predictable channel was Facebook, then your second might be Google, your third might be TikTok, your fourth may be YouTube, and it doesn't even need to be digital advertising. Maybe it's influencer marketing, pop-up shops, or wholesaling. And if you could do all of this in a guided methodical way without putting too much strain on your business too early, you will produce a magical e-commerce tree of life. My name is Scott Cunningham, and this is one of the core concepts that we teach in Digital Marketers e-commerce marketing mastery certification.